Should oh, I yeah. take these off? Do whatever you want. How does it look on camera with them off? Do I look like me? <laughs> wait, oh wait, wait Superman, put your glasses on there. Oh, Clark Kent, what are you doing here? <laughs> Seriously? I put the glasses off, is it me? Who are you? Where did my wife go? Welcome back to Retro Rivals. Today we're going to talk about our little trip to Quebec City and all our cool little finds. Yeah, um, we did go game hunting. Um, didn't pick up a whole lot of games, no. but we found a cool, I guess a retro arcade bar. Yeah. Um, served craft beer and had tons of pinball games and uh, arcade. arcade games. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about that is as long as you were buying beer, you could play all the games you want yeah. for free. Or food, I guess. Food too, yeah. So if you're not, uh, if you're ever in Quebec <clears throat> City and you're not really into drinking, but you're into playing games, you can go get some fries and play as many games as you want. It was super, super cool in there. Uh, name of the bar is Mac Flies and based around Back to the Future. Was it really though? Hey, well, there was a little I bit of- play on words. I think it was more of a play on words. The bathrooms were the only things I really saw that were, you know, had pictures from Back to the Future. Let's just jump right into yeah. the games. There's not a whole lot of games. No, we we got five games and four of them came from the same place. We <laughs> yeah. went everywhere. We even went to pawn shops, which didn't have a lot to offer. And we were expecting to see different stuff, I guess, better retail prices because it's a bigger city, but there really wasn't. No. We, we've gotten better deals here. Yeah. But there was more variety. There was harder there to was, find games. There was definitely. Yeah. Um, this one place, uh, do you want La Planque Jeu Video. I did that good. All right. Um, we're going to pop. Maybe we'll put a link. Uh, they have a, have a website. Yeah, like kind of like online store also. Yeah. Their store, they have a cool little shop. It is. And they've got some pretty hard to find games in there. I got a few that were, I've just been looking for months on end yeah. here in this city and I haven't been able, able to have any luck at all. Yeah. Then I just grabbed up a couple of common games that were just dirt cheap. And you uh, also had to leave some behind. If I had a bigger budget, I would have bought mm -hmm. a few games. Yeah, some Absolutely. really hard to find yeah. games. Yeah. There was a Fatal Frame 3, there was a Obscure for uh, PlayStation yeah, 2. Yeah, you're telling everybody. And uh, what was the other one called? Ha oh. Haunting Ground? I yes, Haunting or? Ground. Yeah. Yeah. They're full retail price, and people that are big collectors know how much they are. They're expensive. What I really liked too, while we'll, while we were in the store, I noticed a few things. Very, very clean. Um, I know that's a pet peeve of yours, having to clean discs at, or like cases and everything yeah. after you get them. Yeah. Um, it was, they were super friendly, yep. easy to work with, um, like language barrier when you go to Quebec. No, there was no language no, barrier at all. Like, everybody, all, almost everybody spoke English. Yeah. I don't know if it's because the area we were in. Very we were touristy. In, very touristy. Yeah. It's uh, old Quebec, you know, Quebec City. But they yeah. were also, he was caught, like there's a gentleman that worked there constantly cleaning stuff. So it was a very clean environment and my favorite thing which I didn't know the first time we went in, which uh, the lady showed me the second time, was that we could actually go on the computer that yep. was set up right there as uh, customers, customers yep. and search their database. So yep. you didn't necessarily have to search through <clears throat> games. You could say, oh, I really wish they had this game. Let me go look it up. Walk and straight then you in the door, know. type yeah. it in. You don't have to spend, you know, half an hour or more exactly looking for a game that might not even be there that's but that's true. that's half the fun sometimes i think so uh, i like going to see what's on the shelves because i might not even have a game in mind well yeah you might see not something even be that i want that. Yeah. 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 yeah it but it, it was awesome it was very yeah. well kept in there and and we just enjoyed walking down there yeah. too i don't 
if I mentioned it. Um, his online store told me if the uh, purchase price is over fifty dollars. Oh yeah. Free shipping. free shipping yeah. so I definitely will be keeping an eye on there because uh, he did have a lot of a lot of games yeah that I just couldn't find around here I'm looking for that. I'll get to that now yeah let's get that to that all right now. I'll show my common games first they were just dirt cheap there Top Gun, Top Gun. NES yep. a whole lot to say about that it's not a great game but he was wanting it was one of those games I've been trying to get around here and the cheapest I've seen it was eight bucks around here at a pawn shop and I haggled somebody on eBay and they would not go below yeah oh, you, six bucks or eight bucks you want it you wanted to go six I to, no yeah they wouldn't go down to six you wanted eight no I got that 4 dollars <laughs> so. yeah next game Vita game uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 mm -hmm. the HD remaster um, I got this a lot cheaper up there. I, I oh, yeah. thought I only paid 15 bucks. The problem is here that we don't have a lot of Vita games anywhere. Any uh, pawn shop you're going into, gaming store, there's no Vita there's games. There's no more than a handful. Uh, yeah, and if they do have them, they're not in the case. No, oh, there's a lot. No, of a lot of loose I, ones. I won't. You have to have the case. Go there. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that was in there. there you go. Whatever that is. Well, those Redemption are. Redemption code. Redemption code. That's not going to work. <laughs> We've said that before, and Alex yeah. has gotten a game that the redemption code worked. So well, well, you'll okay. have to try, try it. it. Yeah. All right. I guess first, we'll get to this one here first because a lot of people told me you got to play it. You got to have it in your collection. That is Final Fantasy VII. This was a, our unicorn for a bit. We couldn't find it. I found them. I found tons of greatest hits. I found one that was missing a manual. Yes, that's I the problem. I even found one that the top half was a black label and the bottom half was, was a greatest, a greatest hits. hits. And I said, no, I'm no. not doing that. Can't put that in the collection. No. Um, and even around Quebec, we found them other places in Quebec. Greatest hits, tons of them. Greatest hits. All right, my second little find there that I couldn't find around here is Dragon Quest Eight. Yeah, I think another person had mentioned that that we had to find yes. and try Dragon Quest Eight. Yeah, this was um, the RPG topic that we talked mm -hmm. about. What what should I? What should be my first RPG to try and play through? Yeah. What is the best one that is going to get me hooked on the genre? Yeah, this was one of those ones that was brought up. I could not find. it haven't found no, any of them in close. this city at all here. Didn't we see another Dragon Quest? Was it 7 that we had seen? I thought we had seen another one on the shelf, but it wasn't Dragon Quest 8. Yeah, there was a 7 there. Yeah, yeah, and we haven't even seen 7 here. We haven't seen, yeah. we we saw some stuff that said Dragon on it, and I'm like, I fit. no I didn't. This is one that I have not been able to find around here. I played a friend's copy, and mm -hmm. I been searching for it for a while. It's the only real Wii game that we've had on the list that we had to get yeah. beyond the ones we already have, but we're like, okay, we need to need to get this one. Metal Slug Anthology. Woo -woo. It's awesome. If you love the Metal Slugs, it's got Metal Slug all the way up to six on here. Yeah. So, I don't know if you've played, maybe we can put a little bit of game capture in there for a metal slug, but you're just, it's a yeah. run, running gun, shoot 'em up style. Do you think I would player. like that? Yep, I think oh, you will. Oh, awesome. So it's side scroller, basically? Side scroller. Yeah. You can see right there. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I, I like side scrolling. Yeah. yeah. I think they do, too. <laughs> <laughs> side scroller, side scrolling. That's it for games. Yeah. We didn't pick up a whole lot of games while no, we were No, we there. tried. No. We really tried. Yeah. Um, we I've even seen went some... to some extra ones we weren't intending on mm -hmm. going, and there was a little bit of a flea market, but really no games. Yeah. Seen, seen some games that I really wanted, but I just wasn't willing to pay what they were no. asking for. There was the Streets of Rage 3 that I want to have in my collection because that's one of my favorite beat em ups. Yeah. Not necessarily 3, but, but it's, I have the yeah. first two and wanted that one, and there was no manual, it wasn't complete, the case was rough. Yeah. Um, How much were they asking? Yeah. You want a hundred bucks. I'm gonna put that back. Ouch. Yeah, I, I actually think I remember you saying, how much is this? And then you said, I'm gonna put this back. Put that back. <laughs> yeah. Um, did have a metal storm there. Yeah. I didn't think, like, I didn't, I didn't 
really don't think it was a legit copy. Either the label was That's repo. The he and it looked weird. It looked it odd. looked off. Yeah. I don't know what it was. And I'm always thrown off when they have their games resealed into some kind of a plastic bag. Yeah. And that, uh, that absolutely like throws you off for like telling them to take it apart. Let me see the board. I don't know what the purpose of it is. I don't know if they're trying to make it look... More professional? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's <laughs> been know. professionally cleaned. You know, everything. I guess it doesn't get dirty again. You know what I mean? If it's sealed, you're not constantly having to clean it. Yeah. But for the but collector that really can't... wants to know what's going on with it. Yeah, I suggest if you're going to pay, like Metal Storm's an oh, expensive yeah. game. For example, I went to a flea market here in Sussex not that long ago. I yeah. picked it up. Guy had no sticker price on it. Usually what that means is they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, so I picked it up. No sticker price on it. Monks asked the lady that was working there, how much do you want for this? She just, ah, oh, there's usually a sticker price. I don't know, I'll ask. Yeah. Just ask it. $225, let me put that back, all right? Yeah. So this guy <laughs> only wanted 125 up there, but like I said, the label the was label off. Of yeah. Something didn't look, something wasn't rubbing me right. It was all resealed up. Mm -hmm. You weren't gonna be able to take it apart and look at the board. And if you're gonna spend big bucks, you wanna make sure you're getting something authentic. Absolutely. If you're a serious collector, I think everybody does that anyway. Absolutely. So. Um, beyond uh, the games, um, and I know it's it's kind of doesn't really go on topic with retro gaming, but when in Quebec, we uh, did a lot of sightseeing. Oh, beautiful. We, oh my God, beautiful so city. nice. I'm gonna pop a yeah. bunch of photos up for you guys to see. Maybe I'll do it over the entire video so you yeah. guys can see it. Yeah. But the landscape is beautiful. Oh my There's God. There's old castles there. Yeah. They've been turned into hotels. And we didn't yeah, personally we stay at Chateau Frontenac. <laughs> no. But anybody that's going to Quebec yeah. or is from Canada or has a vague idea even about Quebec, I've heard of Chateau Frontenac, so I'm like, I don't know if I'm allowed, but I'm going in. We walked into the lobby. Oh, I felt wow. out of place. <laughs> a yeah. little out of place. Yeah. Here I am in my uh, jeans and t-shirt, yeah. my, my sneakers, and it felt like I was no. not clean enough to be in there, and I felt clean, like. Yeah, I just, that was Yeah, the right but class beautiful, such a beautiful, beautiful yeah. castle, like. Yeah. Just seeing, we had looked uh, looked up to see how much it costs per night. She <laughs> pricey. Uh, but then there was also a picture of it overlooking it from the St. Lawrence River. Yeah. Amazing, like it's ginormous. It's mm -hmm. just massive and beautiful. And like if you can go down to the water and walk yeah. along the boardwalk, Huge everything's boardwalk so there. well kept. Very well so kept. So clean. Very clean and uh, very safe. Mm -hmm. We uh, were walking around early morning. We were up at five, which would have been six o'clock our time. Yes. We were up at five. Let's go for a walk. Let's yeah. go check out the city. And there was already cops. I there had I must have seen twenty police yeah. on foot walking just patrolling. around, just patrolling. Yeah. I, it didn't I take actually, away from anything. I don't think. <laughs> I I, I got a funny story with that because there was a man and a woman, police on the other side of the street, walking in the opposite direction. Couple of tourists, we're walking down this direction. Yeah. I look over at the cop. I give him. He looks at me. I give him the old, "Hey, how's it going?" There, kind of look there. And then all of a sudden, I feel like they're rushing up on me. <laughs> and they like walk super. They power walked right up across the street and right behind me. And I'm like thinking, "Oh crap, I'm getting tackled here." <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like. La, la, la. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just like, we should move to the side so they can get by. And I move to the side. And as soon as Scott saw them go by and go yeah. to, out of earshot, that's when he, he said like, to me, Whoo! Yeah. I'm, that must have looked a little sketchy. No, we we saw some sketchy people. Oh, yeah. First, I mean, that's anywhere. You're going to see some sketchy people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. where we went to buy our t-shirts, I don't know if you guys can see them. Scott's got a pretty sweet t-shirt. Um, yep. And you got two. But yeah, the guy there was super friendly. He was like, go out, walk Quebec City at any time of any day, time. any time of yeah. night. Yeah. It's super safe. And it was. But super safe, super some clean. people are not safe there. You should have seen the guy on the scooter. 
<laughs> it's all hill. It's one great big hill. Quebec is on the oh. side of a mountain. I swear to God, I haven't walked up hill so much in my I, life. I didn't want to look, but I couldn't peel my eyes away. <laughs> People on skateboards, scooters, scooters. and bikes. We Flying down the hills. Flying. <laughs> Your mother needs to have a talk with you. Like, yeah. I was scared for them. I was like, oh my god, thank god that's not my child. It's, and I'm sure some of them were my yeah. age. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, like uh, speaking of a walk, like Quebec's on a hill, or mm -hmm. a hill, it's on a hill, it's on the side of a mountain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I walked uphill so much. We did a lot of walking. We did. And um, I'm urban walking hiking. Around. Yeah, the urban hike, yeah, definitely. And we were looking around, people that are walking on foot, and I'm like, everybody's in awesome shape here. I know oh, why. Yeah. I know why now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a very well, walkable city, though. Very like, walkable, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we went in this super cool toy store that had a train. I wanted to get on the train, but I didn't have a child with me. And I thought if I took someone's child to go on the train, then the yeah. police on patrol would have came and got me. Yeah, probably. But yeah, oh, yeah. super cool. I have a video of that, too. We might pop that we'll in pop here. All that. It was so cool, yeah. but we had we didn't bring our son, so we had to get him a toy. And I enjoy going in the toy store myself. So it's huge. There was a little door too for kids. There was two big doors for adults and little it's door for me. Yeah, we got. I went people. through it. Yeah. I had to. Yeah. But yeah, you, we have a picture of you standing beside it, but it's super cute. Look at me looking now. I wasn't super cute. Mm -hmm. I think you're super cute. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, you'll see the picture. I look super unimpressed. I had to pose, pose behind, beside this teeny tiny Well, door. what would be the... I could have gave you the camera and I could have posed beside it and I would have been like, oh look, it's a regular adult sized door. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Exactly All right, tall. to wrap things up, if you're ever in Quebec City there, you're going to go see some of the... Uh, well, you're definitely going to go see the mech flies. Yeah. It's worth, worth it. It's We're going to have lots of pictures hard. of that on here also. Close, it's close to... Grand LA, is it? Yeah. yeah. Grand LA was a 25 minute walk from our hotel room, yep. which 25 minute, you know, it's uphill, but you're looking at so many things, it's enjoyable. You're not really noticing the time. And we stayed at a hotel that was like a two minute walk to McFly's, which oh, yeah. was fantastic. Yeah, we were there twice. It yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was great. All right, wrap it up, Jen. You wrap it up. All right, until next time, please like, subscribe, comment. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna probably do a few other little trips here, not anytime soon, but we're yeah. thinking Halifax, we're thinking Bangor. Bangor. Something that was drivable, and yeah. we'll, we'll do some game hunting then too. Yeah, we'll All let right. you guys know what we find. Yep, until next time. See ya.